this is for Queen G, you know? This is for my mom and her cat, Kitty. Whew, sorry. Today is Friday, the 13th, January. Kitty's not doing too well. Her kidneys are not doing well, so I'm not too sure if it's infection or it's something more serious. The vet gave me the results of her kidneys and it's not that good, but um, I'm gonna take her down to the emergency at the hospital so that they can undergo an aggressive fluid slash antibiotic procedure over there that she needs to be hospitalized for 24 hour care. I'm gonna do that because I know that's something my mom would want to do. <sighs> I'm trying so hard to keep it together. Even though Kitty is not my cat, she's a family member and she's someone very close to my mom who's been with me throughout the whole entire time so I'm crossing my fingers is something that they can correct I'm not gonna lie I have lost it over and over and over Kitty is more than just a cat. She's more than just a pet. She has been with me since it all, since my mom's massive stroke. She has been by my mom's side just as much as I have. I almost categorize her as not only my supervisor, if you guys follow my decluttering videos and cleaning videos, she's always called the supervisor. Anytime I try to do physical therapy or work on my mom or get her out of her bed into the wheelchair, Kitty's like right there supervising. That's why she has been called the supervisor. And she doesn't hold back when I'm doing something wrong. She cracks me up. You could almost describe Kitty as somewhat as a service, I guess like a service animal or a service cat. I think that she's very vital to my mom's recovery from her stroke. Taking my mom from her home and then having her move into us, I'm sure was pretty devastating. But knowing that she had Kitty all along, I mean, if you think about it, both of them actually moved in with us. So I'm sure that the bond that they share really try to lighten the trauma. Kitty always knows how to calm my mom down, comfort, give her loves. I mean, she, Kitty really understands my mom's, her ups and downs. And anytime Kitty comes into the room, it always lightens up and brightens up Queen G. 
And then her energy kind of started to really, really go down. We're almost like she wasn't quite lethargic, but she wasn't herself. So I thought, you know, if she's not eating and she's drinking a lot of water and she was struggling um, in the litter box. So I figure I might as well get her into an appointment to see the vet. They performed a blood test and a urine test. And that's where we found out that Kitty's kidneys were severely, extremely high value numbers. Not only that, they had found bacteria in her urine. So I was given the talk because she's at her age, 15, 16 years old. Um, cats like this, she probably has chronic kidney disease, possible kidney failure, or a kidney infection. We're not really sure, but because of her age, you might wanna think of different options. Of course, you can take her to the ER, to the vet hospital, and we can do an aggressive treatment 24-7, where they would hook her up with an IV and then put fluids through her to flush out her kidneys. And since they have a bacteria, then they can also perform the antibiotics for her, which she would need. Again, in the talk, she was saying that this is no promises. Normally this is very normal for, you know, older cats and the second option is to do the treatment at home where you would have to administer the, um, the fluids like with a shot or I don't know how you would do that um, but she says that's probably not feasible at this time because Kitty's numbers is just too high. The third option was to put her down. Cue in the crying. I just like okay we're not gonna go there like hold on wait a minute came home, had a discussion with my husband and Queen G, all decided we just needed more answers. Let's take her to the ER hospital immediately. So I went ahead and I took Kitty into the ER hospital. There I was given the second talk, pretty much the same song and dance kind of thing. She told me that it would probably best to start the aggressive fluid treatment on Kitty and then we'll go from there. We'll see if her numbers start to decline. There's no guarantee that this is going to help. It may or may not. I gotta be prepared. If it's a kidney failure, I have to be prepared. If her body cannot handle this type of treatment, I have to be prepared. I have to be willing to take that risk. And here I am in her exam room trying not to lose it again. But I knew Kitty was just not feeling well and I just wanted her to get better. So I went ahead and I said, yes, let's go ahead and go with the aggressive treatment and let's see what happens. Because really we don't even know what is going on. So they started and her numbers started to slowly drop. Not as what they wanted to see, but it was still a progress. down for us so we can visit Kitty. Jay is keeping us up on the football game. <laughs> you excited? No. Yeah. She's going to be so happy to see Queen G. Hey, Kitty. How's oh, my furry little baby? Huh? You okay? You're getting spoiled here, huh? That's okay. We'll, sp we'll spoil you back at home, too. How are you doing, kitty? Oh, you're purring. Oh, she is. I can hear her. I can feel it. It's going to on her throat, she said. I love you, kitty. Oh. You're so special. 
You're very special. Mommy loves you. You're doing better, kitty. Yeah, you're doing better. You get to come home soon. Yeah, we can watch TV together. Let's do all the commercial. Meow, 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 meow. I am so behind on everything. It's about 4.45. I had to get up. I just been having a hard time sleeping, but that's okay. All my focus and attention has been on Kitty. Matter of fact, I told the uh, doctor and the nurse last night that I plan to go check on her this morning real early if I can and they said that was fine. Since I'm up, I might as well just get up <laughs> and try to do some of my stuff at my desk. I have mail I haven't opened. I have bills I have not paid. I have bills and budget that I'm just so behind on and so I wanted to take this opportunity for myself. I finally had a good night's sleep last night. I passed out. I slept really well. Uh, Queen G is sleeping well so that's good i still have a little bit of my cough the dry cough but it's not bad so we're we're good with that so i'm just gonna plug along because that's all i can do i am back uh, finally got a visit didn't get to visit yesterday so I made sure today so I'm here it's about nine o'clock 9 30 had the neighbor fam looking after mom and uh, just want to make sure to check on Kitty let her know that you know I'm here <laughs> Visiting Kitty in the home. She looks a little bit better today. Then since they kept flushing out her kidneys, then um, she was becoming anemic. They decided that it would be best for Kitty, since she's improving, that she undergoes a blood transfusion, which I said yes. Also some type of medication that uh, jump starts the bone marrow to produce more blood cells. I know, right? So once she started getting that, then she started to really improve. We were approved to take Queen G in, so she got to see Kitty. It made the world difference. It was so cute. I just heard Kitty. I just heard her go, meow. <laughs> We're here at the vet. Gonna see Kitty. You look rested. Yep, she looks better. Hi, kitty girl. Kitty. We miss you. We miss you. Can't wait to get home. Yep. She's doing good. She's doing better. Huh. Yes. You know, Pam, call and see how you're doing. You've been through a lot. But the good thing is that you're getting better. That's the, that's the good thing. You're looking good too. Yeah. Look at you, you look cough. Letting her stretch her, her legs a bit. She's in a little cage all day. Well, not all day, but.
purring. Yay. Been here for 20 minutes. Got a little bit of a longer visit today. So gradually, she is slowly making progress. I think I heard that before on my channel, right? I was just hanging on to hope. I was hanging on to faith. It's so weird being around the house without her. I know my mom was really missing her. We, anytime I think about her, I just start to cry. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Get together. <laughs> hold it together, D. Hold it together. The staff there was really nice. I would do call-ins. Even sometimes in the middle of the night, since I'm a caregiver, I wake up like, you know, midnight. I wake up at 4, 3. And I would call in just to see what the status was for Kitty. They were so excited when they heard me. And they're like, oh, Kitty's doing better today. And I got always good news about that. And when I got to see her yesterday with Queen G, Jay and I, she just had so much like more energy. She looked way better. My mom's wheelchair and rubbing her her head against the wheel and she was sniffing my mom's feet and rubbing her her head and she knew she knew it was us and I said kitty come here and then she would come to me um, another thing we thought maybe she had lost her vision but she saw an eye specialist more to Chang. luckily great news her vision is fine so we just kept getting more better news and better news and better news Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, six days, six days, she's been gone, six, and tonight, Kitty's coming home. This was so stressful. This was so stressful. And I'm not gonna lie, the medical expenses, the bills that we had to pay forefront is extremely high. We're talking over $10,000, which Queen G, you know, that's, that's gonna be really hard on her. I'm never one to ask for help so easily, but this is for Queen G. You know, this is for my mom and her cat, Kitty. And I know if Kitty can talk, see, here we go again. Um, I know that she would ask all of you for helping her mom, Queen G. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave some of ways where you can help donate to the Kitty Fund, I guess is what I'm gonna start calling it. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna leave some of the information down below if you can contribute and donate in any way uh, We sure appreciate it. I Know kitty wouldn't want to leave Queen G with such a huge bill as that She wouldn't want to give my mom or her human sister D um, the burden Who sorry 
God, this is so hard. But anyways, um, this is kind of what I have been going through and I have been MIA on YouTube, but uh, I still have <laughs> vlogs. I still have more vlogs to edit. Um, I baked today <laughs> my my um, banana nut bread just to keep me going. It's, it's just crazy. And there's other stuff that's going on behind the scenes that <laughs> it's just been one hell of a start of the new year right it's supposed to be like a good year and i'm hoping i'm having faith and i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to hope and focus on 2023 i just want to say thank you to all of you who had messaged me who had emailed me who had prayed and just thank you thank you thank you kitty and queen g and myself completely appreciate it sincerely from the bottom of our heart again if you can help queen g and kitty out we greatly appreciate it all the information will be down below if you can click on the like and share this with other i don't know animal lovers cat lovers out there i sure would appreciate it until the next one i love you kitty Oh, you're so special. You are very special.